Hello viewers, I'm SB, and welcome back to Hitman. So, I'm not super clear on a plan. Don't really know where we're going here. But we're going to climb up this drain pipe, see what we can see, and figure out our options from there. I did notice, um, I watched a little bit of the footage from last time, and when we saw Sister Yildos run downstairs and talk to her militia dudes, she said something about, you know, something that has spooked the old man, and I think the fail-safes are off, something like that. So I think uh, it's us panicking Navazov that led to... Oh, 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 uh, get out of here. Well, that's not ideal. Navazov goes into that kitchen, though. Oh, we could lay in wait. Okay. Uh, what I was about to say is, I think that her going downstairs and talking to the militia guys might be triggered by us spooking Nabazov in some way. Or possibly by blowing him up in a very public fashion so that everybody knows he's dead. Okay, so he and somebody else go into this room and have a little conversation, it looks like. He brings with him a guard, but that guard won't help much if we're already inside. Or if we just, you know, leave a duck somewhere. So he walks, like, to this corner of the room... And stands there, and then comes back out. So we just gotta leave the duck somewhere appropriate. Alright, there's somebody inside already. Let's have a coin at the ready. Oh, shoot. The guy is looking this way. Please go quickly. Quickly. Okay. Uh, Alright, there's a body box over there. And actually, I bet it's better for us to be a waiter right now than it is for us to be a soldier. At least while we're figuring this out. Okay. Let's go get our coin back and then... We can just leave the duck somewhere around here, like maybe right behind... Oh. Who the heck is this guy? Mm. Alright, well that's inconvenient. We certainly can't leave the duck in here if there's people coming in here all the time. There's room for him in the body box, too. Oh, hey, he had a master key card. Well, so now we know where a second one of those is, accessible from our hotel room. That could be useful in the future on the level. I mean, can we just put the duck down? Like, we don't want them to see it from the door. We could put it, like, right here, and it would probably be cool, right? Or, oh, this is probably even better. Like, there. Um, but now we kind of can't leave, because there's somebody right out on the balcony. Who is... yeah. Alright, well, I guess we just chill in here until they come in here, and then we blow up the duck as soon as we have visual confirmation that we are cool to do so, and we bail out this door when that happens. Oh, but I need my militia disguise when we leave. Okay, maybe we... We wait for those people to go away. I put my militia disguise back on. We bail out the window... How am I going to do this? I wonder if I can trigger the explosive while hanging. Probably hanging requires both hands. My guess is probably probably no on that. So I guess I didn't really <laughs> need to be a waiter at all. But I did need those two guys not to be in here uh, looking around. Also, I really need these people to stop smoking. Out here on their smoke break all day long. Alright. Wow. This dude... Taking forever. Okay, so we can just hang here and wait. Nope, I do not have access to my devices while doing that. 
and we can't do this in such a way that we just like jump up on the balcony and hit it right because we'll be visible and unless we jump up on the balcony on this side you know what could happen it could be that he sees it and picks it up but it also could be that he sees it and says hey you come pick this up because important mission targets often do that all right i guess we'll we'll wait right here we'll jump up onto this side of the balcony so that we're not super visible to the guy waiting uh and we'll trigger the duck and then we'll just jump back over and climb down the drain pipe man maybe that might work there's not really anywhere for me to go where I could see through the window either. Well, the view's nice at least. Kind of reminds me of, um, honestly, this is like a very poorly traveled video game nerd thing to say, but it really reminds me of Karast from Diablo 2. It's like nightmares of running down one side of the river, finding a dead end, and then having to run back to the bridge and... Man, where even is he? Okay, he's on this floor. He's in the gallery. Maybe we'd be best off, like, down in our hotel room, just using the map to track his location. That feels a little, like, information I shouldn't have, but... To be perfectly honest, I'm at a loss for a better way to do this. I can't see anything at all here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. The stop crouching button is right next to the jump over the ledge button. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to use the map to track his location. That's a really annoying way to have to do this. You know what? We could, um, just to make this a little easier, let's climb up the pipe far enough that it's showing us the mini-map for the level above us. Yeah, okay. So here, we can wait until we see him walking across the kitchen. Then we can go down and uh, and trigger the duck. We should have plenty of time, and this way I don't have to open the map every two seconds until his route comes around. Seriously, though, where where is he? What is he doing? Okay. Well, he's coming. Looks like. Is that him right now, the upper left? Oh, he's in this little room. Okay. Okay, I can I can see which dot is him. So he's having a conversation, I assume, right now. Probably with Sister Yildiz, because it looks like she's right there. Man, I hope he goes into the kitchen instead of just going back upstairs. Oh, wait. No? Okay, he just got closer to her and they're still talking. Of the two really close together dots, he's the lower one right now. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. Come on, hurry, Hitman. Use those incredibly strong fingers. Not far enough in yet. I'm just going to rationalize this as this is like, you know, Diana has bugged hotel security and that's got to be good enough, right? Target got elimination it. confirmed. Good work, 47. Now for Sister Yildiz. All right, let's be careful up here. Where's she right now? She's on the opposite side of the floor. Be careful for people going into search mode. Let's see if we can get close enough to her to see what she's doing, though. Oh, I'm not allowed to be in here, that's right. Okay, she's on the move. Are they going to move her upstairs, or is she going to head for her uh, Roger, we'll her dudes downstairs? We got the upper hand here, gentlemen. 
Really? You're gonna run her into the room where the explosion occurred? Uh oh. That guy is suspicious. Nothing in my position. Wake up. He's hiding near somewhere. I know it. Let's go. Are they not moving her down the stairs? Now they're just holding her down in the kitchen, huh? Well, maybe we gotta wait for her to chill out and go back to her normal routine. You know, it was just a normal kitchen explosion. Uh, refrigerators blow up all the time. It's a very normal thing. So yeah, I guess I'll just wait for her down here. It would be very easy to get away with poisoning some stuff right now, but I don't have any idea what I would want to poison. It's time. Wait, it's time? What was it's time? Somebody said it's time and then I got intel. Okay. That's... That's not, that's not actual information. Where's she at? Okay, she's still upstairs, still just kind of wandering around, not really doing anything of interest. All right. Everybody's returning to their normal positions. Uh-oh. Uh hey, it's me! Sister Yulduz has left the penthouse 47, and in quite a hurry, too. Intriguing. I don't know who the heck this guy is, or why he... Can somebody help me? Please, someone help me over here. Someone is What's acting up? up. He needs to be set what? straight before before he hurts someone. It's okay, lady. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. I think she ran to me for assistance. Okay. So where is Yildiz now? Okay, she's down here. Let's see if we can... Oh, she has an interaction prompt now. Dragon body packs. Yeah, there's an interaction prompt. Oh, there was. Alright, we can actually be present at this now if we're just careful about where we stand. Heads up. We have a situation. Escort the package out of here. Move. Are they are they're just moving her off site immediately? Is that the thing? Man, that's not great for us. All right, this is not very Hitman, but I'm going to try something. Well, I can't can't see out here at all. Is she not dead? There we go. Yeah, messy. Not exactly what I was going for. I will admit. I think that it would probably be a good idea for us to leave in a real hurry. Where'd he go? No, Hitman. 47. Come Climb. Hello? Anybody home? Boy, slide, slide down and instead actually go upward, being the same button, is a terrible, terrible idea. Alright, so the, the call went out, security is aware, but we're close enough to our escape route that we might be able to just get out of here. Yeah, that was not uh, that was not the artful way I would have liked to get that done, but it did work. I'm gonna take some solace in that. Oh, That's peculiar. I just saw a spike in traffic from the hotel's network. It oh. Looks like a series of automatically dispatched messages. I'll get a team on it right away. 
Well, that's not great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel great about that. I kind of want to go back and redo it. But also, I kind of want to just move on because I want to see what else is going on in this, uh, this little mini campaign. So that's true. We did sit at a thing. Okay. Zero. Zero points. It will have to do. So if we had gotten to her before she had spoken to that other guard, I bet we could have said, you know, we're, we're moving you to a safe location, follow me, and then I could have led her off and taken care of her personally in a relatively clean way. All right, let's see what's up with the author. Oh, are we getting a late title card here? Or what's going on? Indeed we are. 47, Diana here. Listen closely. We've got an emergency on our hands. I'll have to brief you en route. Improvisation is part of the craft. Go on. When we eliminated the targets in Bangkok, it appears we misjudged what the cult was capable of. I misjudged it. This should be interesting. Yes. Well, I'm afraid eliminating Nabazov activated a ring of sleeper agents. My current oh. theory is that the network signal spike in Bangkok was a go signal, something automated. A kill switch? Who are the targets? So far, we've identified two cult members meeting in Sapienza to exchange a viral weapon. Something, and I quote, apocalyptic. The client asks us to eliminate them both and extract the weapon. Very well. Give me the details. Your first target is Craig Black, renowned author of the Cassandra Snow franchise. He's hosting a late night book reading in the Sapienza Church, a VIP event, invitation only. His publisher has spared no expense, so expect on site security. The second target is Brother Akron. Intercepts indicate they will meet at the stroke of midnight to hand over the viral weapon. It is highly likely that Craig Black will leave Sapienza once he has the weapon. Plan accordingly. The client requires that you retrieve the weapon. Intel indicates it's small and easily moved, but be careful with it. The pickup team will be ready when you extract. I've uploaded the rest of the information. Let me know what you need, and I'll make sure it's ready when you arrive. Okay, well, what I got from that, Brother Akram looks, um, <laughs> even here in this image, he looks like his consciousness might be gently altered. That might be useful to us. Oh, hey, we know a place in Sapienza where I might go if I was trying to buy some drugs. What do you think? What do you, what do you think we go visit our hippie friend? Retrieve the virus sample from one of them. They're going to meet somewhere. I don't know where this is. He's running a book signing at the church, right? All right. Well, Sapienza is a place where the lockpick has proven to be very useful. It's also a place where there are a lot of coins. I mean, I hate to... It's kind of boring, but this loadout has been working really well for us. And is this... Yeah, this is another case where we only get one starting location and one large agency pickup in the sewers. Hmm. Well, you know what? I mean... I have no idea if we're going to need to suddenly take out an escaping target, but if we are, I'll be glad I have this. Also, what's our suit? You know what? We haven't worn the, uh, the big silly raven suit in a while. Let's go that way. All right. So we need to feel out this meeting, either catch them in the act, or, you know, it would be probably a pretty good idea if we could figure out how to get one of them alone to... Um, like, you know, get a hold of his phone, call the other guy. I'm sure they have each other's phone numbers. And then move the meeting or, you know, just like show up to the meeting as one of them to get the drop on the other. That's a pretty hitman way to go about this. The other thing we could do is trick one of them into picking up the duck and just trace them to the meeting. And when they go for the handoff, oh, no, 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 wait, wait. We should not do that. I should not Your blow up the virus sample. is at the book reading in the Sapienza Church across the Marina Square. It is invitation only, so you will need to acquire one, 
or find another way to infiltrate. Well, Intercepts that feels like indicate a hint. that the cult operative has already arrived. Furthermore, I expect them to meet at midnight. Listen for the church bells. Listen Once for the, the church bells. Done, okay. Your primary target will attempt to depart. Eliminate him before he can do so. So we actually are on the clock here, then. And retrieve the viral weapon. One of your two targets will have it in their possession. It will be something small and easily moved. Do be careful with it, though. Good hunting. All right. Maybe this is dumb, but I wanna, <laughs> I wanna go up to the uh, to that apartment and just see if I'm on to something. So we could hit the map now and know where the targets are. I guess that feels a little bit not in the sport of the thing, not in the spirit of the thing, rather. Uh, boy, I don't know which. Yeah, you know, a little turned around back here. Who are these guys? How are you, sir? Right, right, right. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, up here is. Why? Well, sure, I'm taking myself far away from the church. But up here on our left. Yeah, this is the building, right? This is the one end of the building. Hi, who are you? You are uh, kind of in a place where I wish you were not. Maybe you could go over there. Maybe you could go over there. This guy does not really take hints. Well, we can get in from underneath, can't we? Isn't this... No, it does not. We had to walk outside after we uh, discovered Abiati's men discovering the lawyer. That's right. All right, let's just take a peek at the map. Ah, uh, Brother Akram's in an apartment buying drugs. It's just not this one. I really want that... <laughs> I really want that apartment to be something. I guess it's not right now. It, you know, it might actually be something interesting to check out in the, uh, in the normal mission. We haven't actually seen it uh, during the normal mission. Alright, well, I guess for now let's go feel out the park, maybe? Or not the park, the church. I don't know why I said park. It's a book signing. Should be open to the public, right? Oh, invitation only. Well, um, what can I say? I'm a fan. Hmm. But mostly of the TV series. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they introduce Constantine. I don't mind listening to it again. There's always so much depth in his writing. All right. We can get in through the sewers down here, right? Huh. Okay. That's an awful lot of bats. They're not even going anywhere, they're just kind of hovering around my head. Well, fortunately, 47 has no hair for them to get tangled in. So where is my... as long as we're down here in the sewers, where's my IC, ICA pickup? It's over there. Okay. Oh no! An alligator! Look out! Wait, there's people down here. Who is, who is down here? Oh right, the plumbers. I remember. Okay. Well, I know where our, uh... I know where our rifle is. Okay, I'm getting all turned around. This is the way... under the church, right? Aha! Ah, uh, okay. Come on out here. Uh, okay, well, somebody's coming out here. Holy shit! What the f- What the fuck was that? Did you guys- Um? Okay, well I don't know what that is, but obviously we're knocking it out. I'm such a good hitman that I can hit a ghost. Okay, we gotta move this- He's a super fan. This is a character from the book or something. Okay. 
I feel extremely stupid about the initial reaction that I just had. <laughs> well, this is maybe the worst disguise of all time, but also maybe the best. This is a truly terrible mask, though. I hate it very much. I don't mean that it's of low quality. I just mean that I hate it very much. Okay, apparently I'm allowed to be back here. Maybe I won a contest oh, and I have hi. a backstage pass. Hi. Oh, hi. Guy who looks like this. Perfectly normal human who looks like this. Ah, okay. They have a smoke machine that we could pollute if we found some insecticide. Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is... clear, sir. Move along or go away. Thank you. Is he gonna get mad at me if I go in here? He is not. Yeah, I remembered this. The camera recorder in the basement of the church. Remember how weird I thought this was? Oh, you know what? I don't even know if that was on camera, because I did come back here to do some mastery stuff to unlock something, didn't I? Well, oh. Get frisked. Hi. Hi. Oh, I guess I have to get frisked to go through that door in that direction. Didn't bother frisking me as I was coming back, of course. Well... I don't know where the hell I am. I have not spent a lot of time in the church. I guess we're at the signing. That is Craig Black. Boy, it sure is. Aspiring mass murderer. I mean, we could just do him right now and leave him here. You're in trouble now, son. Holy crap! I saw. Right there. I saw the prompt, and I just, you know. Craig Black nice has been right now. I don't usually give second warnings. Nice and slow. I got you in my sight. Ah! Boy, the very moment that I hit the button, that guy must have walked around the corner. Shoot. Well? Give me back my screwdriver. Okay, we'll just lay low for a moment. Uh, that was the wrong one to kill first, though, right? We should have killed the guy who had the thing first. Hey. Hey. Wake up. Anybody in there? Do we have a description? Our suspect is trying to disguise himself. Wait a minute. I know who you're talking about. We have a positive ID on the suspect. He's trying to blend in. He's in disguise. He's by the stairs! Ah! Please go! I will loot a kick! Pacify the shit! Reveal yourself! We're combing the area, there's no way. Well, escape. this no is not totally ideal. Anyone have visual on the target? Got nothing on the stairs. That guy? No. I just saw him. Oh. Okay, we have not killed anybody unnecessarily. Now what? Now what's my brilliant plan? Can I, can I climb down the church? Boy, I do not like being up this high. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, how you doing? It's just me. I was uh, checking the, you know, the walls or whatever. Yep, clear. Oh, no, they're suspicious of me now. I think I made it over before he saw me, actually. Well, Run. this has really become a thing. Nothing tangible yet, sir. Still looking. We'll Let's do. just... Ow. Jeez, uh, so I'm really high up. With your hands interlaced on top of your head. I'm very happy that Hitman has done his finger exercises. Oh, everybody knows that I'm not who I say I am, but all we have to do is all get right, away from the off. church. Keep the safeties off. Okay, I mean, this is something. Hey, come on, come on, get up, snap out of it. 
Don't do it. You have a reason to live. Wow. Maybe we should take this guy's clothes. Huh? I very, huh. very quietly dropped that screwdriver. And apparently it was loud enough for him. Hello. So, um... The thing is... It's actually much faster to pacify people with a melee weapon, and if you do it from behind, it is silent. Despite the fact that that's completely insane. 47, right. the targets are heading for the meeting now. Well, one of them is, anyway. Oh, it's a shame I couldn't... Yeah, there's no way I would be able to get Craig Black's clothes. Shoot, they were going to meet... Where were they going to meet? Did she say they were going to meet in the sewers, or did I imagine that? Because I was thinking about the sewers a lot. That happens. <laughs> you know how that goes. Let's um, let's head back into the sewers, and I guess we could just go get my original suit, right? Uh, yeah, and now we're not particularly suspicious to anybody. Or at least we shouldn't be. Well, that's our man right there. Um, let me think. We could go get the sniper rifle, but where would we, like, what's my plan there? We can just follow him and throw a screwdriver at him. Boy, he rolls uh, pretty deep. Oh, no, no, they were going to meet in the churchyard, weren't they? That makes sense. Yeah, body found. No kidding. Something is going down. That is Brother Akron, your second target. He isn't particularly discreet. I think they discovered the body of that uh, church staff guy, probably, and that's what's got them all head up again. Oh, gee, that didn't work? <laughs> Run! Nope, can't jump in the well. Alright, well, we're not going to be able to retrieve the, vi the viral weapon at all. That's a thing that I probably should have thought of before throwing the screwdriver. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, to a certain extent, I just wanted another swing at that, because I did a real bad job. Good evening, I'm allowed to completely pooch one mission per day. On this one, we're going to have to do a good job. I want to try that super fan thing again, though, so we're definitely going down in these sewers. There aren't normally bats, right? That's a, that's a thing that's added to this version of the mission to make it extra spooky. So yeah, once we're dressed up as that guy who is basically the killer from Scream, it seems like we have access to a lot of... Uh, a lot of the church. It will just kind of let us go wherever we feel like going. What does he do here? He just... Hi, Caroline? You know what? Craig Black signed my book. Yeah, I bet you feel bad now. No, I don't care about that. When you said you hated book four, I knew we weren't meant to be. You know which one he signed? Book... Ah! Well, we have an invitation. I'm very annoyed that the subdue prompt turned out to be punch him rather than, you know, choke him out quietly. Whatever. Busted. No silent assassin for us, I guess. Alright, let's go dispose of the recording equipment before we do anything else. Which apparently we're totally just allowed to do. Nobody has a problem with it.
Man, check out that CRT. Okay. I'm still working with it, of course, but remember, Cassandra is tougher than she looks. So, everyone, Craig will be taking a break now. Wow. Pick it up again soon. Cassandra Snow, the New England Wiccan. Just, just horrible. Okay, so that is Craig Black, author and aspiring mass murderer. This bodyguard, this is the guy who caught us. He probably just follows behind Craig Black a couple of steps. If we want to, uh, if we want to show Craig our little disappearing pen trick, we're gonna have to get rid of this guy. Can we talk to him? Can I, I ask him to sign my book? All the best. Great black. I know you already signed the book of a guy wearing this costume, but I'm a different I'm a different guy wearing this costume. Hmm. We can find some insecticide, mess with the smoke machine, but like what good is that gonna do? Huh. Why are those guys able to tell that I'm not... I guess maybe I'm just not allowed to be over there in general? Well, I don't know that this disguise really has a lot of cachet outside of the thing we're currently doing with it. You know what? We could take the rifle up to the, uh, up to the clock, the, the bell tower, couldn't we? Ah, yeah, but... Shooting the targets isn't good enough. I have to retrieve the sample. Yeah, it's just that I'm trespassing when I'm out here. Okay. Hmm. What are we going to do? I really like the idea while, of killing him while dressed like this. That seems extremely appropriate. Oh, wait. Ready to do another reading for us. Mm. Okay. I can poison the water bottle when everybody walks away. Security guard takes a drink. I don't have any poison on me. Security guard takes a drink, right. has to go to the bathroom. Let's continue. Yeah, that's that's maybe viable. The air was cold with the chill of an early New England dawn. I pulled the shawl my mother had given me around my shoulders and stepped onto the grass. Maybe we're approaching this from the wrong end. Maybe we should go after Akram first. And with the sunlight, I just can't think about getting another trilogy. And unlike most people, I really like the casting in the movie. This is a totally reasonable way to do that. So we saw him come out of this building? Oh, wait, am I allowed to go in here, though? Yeah, they're just trash-talking me. They're not actually stopping me. Okay, we saw him come out of this building. Let's, um... That's just some guy... Never turn down free scissors. Sir, you are not authorized to be here. Move along. Okay, okay. Well, we definitely know some ways of getting around. Uh, if this dude wasn't looking right at us, I would just climb up. Well, we could go back down and try to get around into the apartment building where 47's fake apartment is. Because I know that we can get out onto the roof from there.
Because if we can take this guy out, and we can secure the viral sample right away... Uh, then we can just deal with Craig Black by, you know, shooting him from a distance or something. This is somebody's apartment. Alright, sorry about this lady. Just be gentle. Try to avoid the, the horrible cracking noise that we definitely did not just cause and that certainly nobody heard. This is just this. Oh no, this stairwell goes up though. This is good. Yeah. Can we get somewhere from this balcony? No, I need that. That stairwell is the way I need to go. Okay. The guy came down because he saw us. Hmm. Just have to grab him right after he hits the top. Oh no, no, there's multiple guys. Hold on. Huh, a toy tank. Weird. There's a bunch of guys up there, actually. We can see multiple uh, multiple dots in the apartment. Well, I could just knock his ass out, right? Okay. So spook him. We got an intruder. Stand still. Nice and slow. I got you. Yep, that's what I wanted. Just throw the brick over the balcony. Honestly, we were far enough down the stairs that I bet nobody heard that. Okay. That is Brother Akron, your second target. So... I mean, this is... He isn't particularly discreet. This is not super clean, but we could just whip something at that guy and then grab Brother Akron. It looks like he's hungry more than anything. Oh, hold on now. What's going on in that room? A flood, and every drop cry blood for blood. And the footsteps you hear Ooh. will be the last to reach your dying ear. Uh, you know, maybe this is a situation that doesn't really call for subtlety. Brother Akram eliminated. That's confirmed. Excellent, 47. I'll have a team ready to take possession of the weaponized virus as soon as you extract. Do be careful with it. I mean, people are going to know I'm not him, right? On account of I'm a big white guy and he's... Oh, okay. I mean, are we just going to go to this meeting? I think so, right? Sure, Akram's apartment key. Why not? We need that. I guess let's just go to the meeting? 47, the targets are heading for the meeting now. You know what? On the off chance that I get searched, let's drop everything that shows up in a search. Oh, nope, that apparently will be detected. You know, that's not always the case, but I think uh, it may be that I'm used to getting frisked in costumes that are allowed to carry knives, like kitchen staff and stuff. Alright, so obviously we want to stay away from our bodyguards, but I don't know exactly where they meet. 
But if Craig Black's dudes have never met Brother Akram, maybe we're cool? Excuse me, I'm here for the meeting I'm definitely supposed to attend. I don't know where I'm going. This is the location that was shown in the uh, in the image. Welcome. These are the big tall Enjoy trees. Yourself. Shoot. Where is what's his face? Oh, he's all the way, all the way out here. Okay, I assume he'll dismiss his bodyguards because he doesn't want them knowing what he's actually doing here. Yes, hello, it's me, the the brother Akram, brother, Mr. Akram. May the teacher guide us. Follow me, please. It is time then. Time to unleash the flame. Ye Are you ready? Yep. I, I, I hate them. So many questions. Obviously, okay, follow me, please. Ghosts. This no. is not what I'll be remembered for. I thought I could get down to the sewers that way. We just got to take this guy somewhere secluded. He is very slow. They will be touched by it, all of them. I am ready to die to take them with me. Okay. You are here with what I need. The weapon. There's this uh, little hut over here. What are you waiting for? This is what I'm thinking. The hut. Oh no, you won't follow me far enough? Is that what's going on? Shoot. Um... You know, if he's decided I'm not Akram, he's remarkably chill about it. Okay, so we have to put an end to this. But in a way that doesn't, first of all, doesn't get him start screaming, and secondly, allows me to escape safely. I need you to finish going inside. Why would you just stop in the doorway? Hold on, I have an idea. I have a really dumb idea. Is he just going to go back and do another reading? Ah, uh, why are you doing this? I wanted to be alone up here. Okay, <laughs> they apparently have... I figured out that people might want to try this plan. Uh, so wait, he decided I'm not Akram, and he's just like, okay, back to my readings. Hey, you! Well, crap, man. What are you doing, wandering around here where you're not allowed? Move, move! <laughs> Okay, Serpentine! Serpentine! Ah! I was trying to break line of sight. That's pretty weird, though, that, like... 47 says, follow me, but he won't follow you far enough... Like, he doesn't dismiss his guards. Good evening, 47. And he won't follow you far enough to get to a place that's actually secluded. Alright, what if we try approaching this from the other side? Let's be Craig Black. So we gotta figure out a way of dealing with Craig Black. I'm not sure that this starts with the super fan disguise, but it might. This time we're going to be a little bit more careful, and we're not going to get seen disabling this dude. So, Craig Black, he needs to be drawn off. Actually, it might be easier to draw him off in the churchyard, where the superfan is not allowed to go. So maybe this is actually oh, not a mom. useful disguise at all. Where am I? I'm in Italy, meeting Mr. Black. Yeah, I said I was going. Mom, it's my money. But why can't you just be happy for me? Yeah, I'm hanging up now. Hanging up now. Goodbye. I like the fact that there's multiple phone conversations they recorded for this. Oops. Uh, forgot that I was carrying a the thing there. I was planning to choke him out, but okay, that's fine. 
He'll just have a little bit of a headache. Okay. Let's try this one more time. But this time, you know, uh, we'll do a good job. Alright, I think we still probably want to do this part. I can't imagine a reason not to destroy the recorders. So there's got to be some way to interact with him. Like, he's got to go down to the basement at some point. Hmm. Oh, the poison. Right. I was going to try poisoning the dude's water. That is Craig Black. Ah, oh, but there's people standing around everywhere. We can't we can't actually do that. We'd have to clear out the room first somehow. Which I can't I cannot imagine a way of doing that. Hmm, maybe we could If this if this church staff guy wasn't here, we could throw something. The bodyguard would go investigate it. We could take, take the bodyguard. Breath away. Love. Great. Come on, interact with me. Interact with me. Man. There was a moment there where the the church staff dude had walked away. Jeez. Ah. Someone should go see what the hell that was. Yes. I tried to no, throw that screwdriver that. to get the uh, the guard to come back, but too slow, the door had closed. Alright, maybe let's get rid of this guy, because he's kind of inconvenient. Where would I put him? Oh, alright. I don't think I want his clothes, but him not being around is certainly going to be helpful. Oh, maybe I do, though. Hold on. Let's go ahead and become this dude. And see what options it opens up for us. Will I have the ability to tell Mr. Craig that there's some kind of problem, or...? But you know what? We might be able to draw off his bodyguard here. Did that bodyguard just delegate the job of checking that out to a random man in the crowd that he could not see? Well, he's outsmarted me once again. Uh, let's pick it up at a different part of the story. Uh, remember, I'm still working on this. Okay, new plan. What if I just let them both live to the meeting? I. Follow them to the meeting, and I figure out what the protocol is. And then we basically time travel. We just go back in time, you know, restart the mission, and use that information then. Let's see. We're allowed to go in here. Is there anything useful in here at all? Looks like the answer to that is a big no. Yeah. Nothing. Alright, well, that's a disappointment. Hold on. We realized it as the shadowy world of If we wait for cobwebs and whispers around Wait for this to happen. He'll walk away, he'll come back over here, right? The bodyguard'll follow him. And there'll be some time where it's just the two of them, and I might be able to grab the bodyguard. Pushed in front of me to distract their dead eyes from my living aura, and I cried out to him not to, but he was too brave to hear me and flew at them. That's definitely one of the more dramatic situations they'll face in their search for the shadow. I'm still working with it, of course, but remember. 
Cassandra is tougher than she looks. Everyone, remember that Crane will be signing books very shortly. Man, even if he wasn't going to, you know, create some kind of apocalyptic doomsday scenario, his writing alone is a good enough reason for me to do this thing. So he and the guard will walk over here again, right? I think we're going to have an opportunity here. Without the church church staff around to screw with it. Not even Cassandra shines as bright as Okay, so does that get the bodyguard or is the bodyguard going to going to delegate Please. again? Gotcha. Okay, that gets the bodyguard and we're alone with him now. He's going to come over here. Right now. Being a nuisance. But Craig's not looking this way, so when this guy turns back around. <laughs> Will oh. help me? Well, crap. Craig Black has been eliminated. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <gasps> I lost him. Damn it, he got away. Go, 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 go. I don't think they know. The they don't know. I got away with that. <laughs> Somehow, I got away with that. I'll just uh, come over here and, you know, be... Look, it's me, Craig. Shouldn't I have, um, I don't know, affixed a fake mustache? I cannot believe they let me do that. So these two guys are kind of an issue. There's uh, certainly a place to hide a body right there. Does, do they just stand here? Does either of them ever walk away? Because if I could get them to separate, that I could dispose of them both quickly. Man, I don't know. So I guess we can we can probably just wait until the uh, until the meeting occurs now. Although now I'm famous, Akram isn't gonna fall for this. No, we got to get rid of these guards so that when Akram shows up, well, he's gonna bring his own guys though, right? I was going to say, when Akram shows up, we can just kill him, but he's going to have his own guards. This is not great. This is not a good plan. It turns out that when I improvise in a panic, I don't always do my best work. Man, background art in this game is fantastic pretty much everywhere. Well, I wish I had a clock. Like, I have no idea what time it is. How close we are to midnight. The fact that I messed with Craig Black shouldn't interfere with the concept of time itself, I would imagine. I mean, I could just shoot these two guys. I don't really want to add a whole bunch of bodies to the body count, but... It might be best if we were alone. When Brother Akram arrived? Okay, here we go, here we go. I guess we'll see how things go. You know... 47, the this, targets are heading for the meeting now. Yeah. This is good information, though. We've, we've got a bunch of information here that will be useful in the future. In, you know, future contracts and stuff. Because now that I know about that drain pipe that climbs up onto the top of the bell tower, and the fact that you can get a, an agency pickup in the sewer, we could get a sniper rifle up into the bell tower pretty easily. All we'd have to really do is clear one or two guards... And on the, uh, on the normal version of this map, probably not even that much work. 
all right, there's a real good chance that Akram's going to show up and he's going to be like, hey, you're obviously not the guy on account of you obviously not being the guy. And then all hell's going to break loose. But we do have an escape plan. We could run over there behind where this guy is, drop down and flee through the sewers. It's also possible that Akram will be screwed up enough that he won't notice. Because, you know, we are... Craig Black was a tall white dude, and I'm a tall white dude. And maybe he just hands me the sample and then leaves? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. If he does just hand me the sample and leave... I don't know, we just track him for a little while and then kill him as he's trying to leave the map, I guess? Dude sure is taking his sweet time, though. Alright, he's coming. Very, very slowly. I can't believe I managed to change into Craig's clothes before anybody caught me. There's a hole in the stained glass window up there. That's something that could be useful. Actually, that's something that could be useful for accomplishing the mission as it stands right now, right? If we were just up there waiting with a gun, we could take out the two of them at the meeting, wait until things die down, and then come down and retrieve the virus sample. Well, nah, there's probably probably a pretty good chance that it gets caught by somebody. Or just stays on the body when they bag up the body and move it. Alright, let's see what happens here. That is Brother Akram. Your second target. He isn't particularly discreet. It is time. The flame will burn eternal, brother. Only once we complete the apprenticeship of death will we truly be alive. Take it and set the world ablaze. Excellent. Thank you. I will. I'll have a team ready to take possession of the weaponized virus as soon as you extract. Do be careful with it. Okay. I could have just pushed him, but these guys, I think, probably would have had feelings about that. But he just, yeah, he just walked over and handed it to me, so... Let's... I guess let's just follow him and wait for an opportunity. Maybe try to find some place that I could leave a duck. Nobody, nobody thinks this is weird. Nobody knows what Craig Black looks like at his own signing. I mean, I still just have my gun, right? I wish I had any idea where he was going. We know he plans to leave Sapienza immediately. It's still great though. I can't wait to read it. See, so I think we can leave in the speedboat. Although not all of the methods of egress are necessarily going to be available to us. I was trying to think like what if I just shot him right now? Where would I where would I try to run to? Because I'm increasingly thinking that that may be the play. I know it's sloppy, but I also don't know what else to do. Is he just... Wait, is he going to go back to his apartment, maybe? Mm. I don't know who this guy is, but he is a real problem. Shoot, I don't have anything to throw to distract him, even. All right, let's go up to the roof the way we did last time, I guess. I 
can maybe catch Akrib in transit. No, not this way. I hope if someday some guy chokes me out from behind, I have the wherewithal for my last words to be, ah, fuck. Nope, his, uh... His security is still here. I'm allowed to be sure? here, though. I'm the man with whom he is to meet. Yeah, he's just in his room. Like, I'm sorry, I forgot something when I was speaking to Brother Akram earlier. Um, hi. Shit. Brother Akram eliminated. That's confirmed. Well, Your nobody heard that, I guess. Okay, <laughs> it's pretty silly that I was allowed to just walk in here. I'll take that. Also, this whole thing needs to not be happening. We'll just put this right here. Okay. Alright, so it looks like I am allowed to leave by the speedboat. We're already not getting Silent Assassin because I forgot that I had a thing equipped when I grabbed that guard, so... We may as well go out with a bang, and also destroying whatever the hell that creepy, oh, creepy, sir. creepy ritual was. Man, I don't even know if that exploded. What's the effective range on these things, anyway? Well, alright. Perhaps not... Perfectly smooth. <laughs> but on the whole, I guess technically we got the job done. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to have to be it for us for today. We are out of time. Come back next time. I believe there's two more missions left in this thing. Hold on, let's check. Ah, uh, this is... Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, also this. New elusive target coming soon. We will definitely be doing that. Yep, two more missions. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're as interested in seeing where this goes as I am. And come back next time. Apparently we're headed back to Colorado. And we'll see you then.